located inside the Twin Ring Motegi racetrack in Japan, is a collection of motorcycles like no other. So while Moto Geo was in Japan on the Kanto tour, we popped in to take a look around and to see some very special machines. motorcycles in there that I can't wait to see. So let's get in there and check them out. There were so many brilliant motorcycles inside this immaculate museum that I found it hard to contain my excitement and also pick out some to show you. But here are some of my own personal favourites. Now this is a very special Honda. It's the NR750 road bike, which they made in 1992. There was only around 300 units made worldwide, and it's an oval piston. I think it was a 500, NR500 from 1979. That was developed with the uh, oval piston, but it actually made its way to a road bike in 1992. And it had a price tag of 5.2 million yen back in 92. So that's about 50 grand back then. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It's littered with carbon fibre. I would love a go on one of these. I think this is a Roger de Costa's prototype Honda front suspension. Look at this for front suspension on a motocross bike. So this is a section that I absolutely love because it's all about MotoGP races. Here's a bunch of 500s, Freddie Spencer's championship winning machine. Look at this, this was Rocket Ron Haslam's um, elf prototype bike. Single sided front suspension. It was stunning looking. I remember watching this bike myself at the British Grand Prix when I was just a little kid. Fantastic. Further down here we've got Wayne Gardner's NSR 500. Got Eddie Lawson's NSR 500. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. Over there, we've got Valentino Rossi's machines, Nicky Hayden's, you name it. Here is just littered with every championship winning bike from Honda. It's amazing. Now, this is the machine I came to see Mike Halewood's Honda 6. Now this thing sounds amazing. I've only ever heard it on the old Isle of Man videos. But this had a very unique sound. It used to rev very, very high. And right surrounded me here, I have Mike Hailwood's 500, Mike Hailwood's uh, 250, and then there's 125s here. These 125s used to rev above 20,000 RPM and they also used to have nine and eight speed. Can you imagine that? Going through nine gears. <laughs> Incredible. These bikes are very, very special and extremely expensive. Oh, no. 